probably beat him out in the long range game. Oh, yeah. And if you pick Richter, too, then uh, Holy Water just goes right through all the Pikmin. Uh, actually, Simon. No, wait. Yeah, you're right, yeah, Richter. Yeah, Richter. It's Richter Simon's for. Simon's got the fire. Yeah, so Richter's Simon, you use Simon for Snake and then Richter for Olimar. Yeah, that makes sense. Because for Snake, the fire property of the Holy Water for Simon will actually detonate the grenades. Yep. So here we've got the run back from Winter Semis. Actually starting off with Mario. Oh, yeah, Mario right off the bat. Yep. Huh. I mean, this definitely is a difficult matchup for Ulmer just because a lot of his attacks can get reflected. And Wolf doesn't have any problem getting in on Olimar. Nope, Wolf's one of the few characters that just kind of shuts down Olimar, and Olimar's got to play really well to get around it. So I respect Yoma going Mario, so that's a little bit easier on him for trying to get in. Yep. A lot of it's just going to come down to if he can find good, solid combos to get that damage. Yep. But, the, but Daybreak City and Grand Side, he's got that confidence with him. Oh, going for, I'm not sure, he tried to F-Smash. But not able what? to finish it off there. Looks like you're getting called to go. Yep, so co-commentators are getting called out by his ride to head home, so. I'll be taking you through the rest of this set as Daybreak's looking to outspace Goma and extend his lead as much as possible here. Right now, Goma just trying to hop around and find some opening, but the problem is, unless you can catch the wolf lasering on safe like that, there's not too many safe openings against the wolf. Let's be honest here. Because that fear is going to outrange a lot of Mario's attacks. And there, coming from above, can be difficult to deal with. Often trading when Mario's up here, too. Oh God, just looking for those up smashes and able to cross them up with the dash attack. Oh. Oh, there, I thought Goma got the worst of that trade, but. Still able to live, fortunately. Catching Goma, trying to recover high there with that back air. Daybreak doing a good job recognizing when Goma's trying to jump out of these situations because a lot of Mario's aggression's coming at from up airs, down airs, and even back airs to just try and poke in. So Daybreak knows he's going to be looking for things like that and just punishing him for it. Daybreak just. Constantly backing up, forcing Goma to be the one approaching and just running away with this lead right now. Sending him really far out there. Daybreak's got no problem just sacrificing that stock to make sure that Goma ain't coming back. And that was a commanding win from Daybreak there to start off this finals. Goma's definitely going to have to think again about this Mario pick because everything Mario wants to do Wolf just does better. Wolf's got good combo game, good close range combat, and Mario just can't deal with it effectively like he wants to. So Goma right now trying to figure out what's gonna be the best option. Final destination is gonna be the pick. The question is, what's gonna be the character to go with here? Whoa. Opting to go with Mario again. See if he can do it any better on a stage with no platforms. Daybreak's looking to try and win yet another Smash Field here. Finish it off in a best of three here. No reset. Right now, both of them just trying to find those openings. Daybreak finally finds his. Get a little bit of percent to even things back up, but Goma is fighting back with that up smash. And trying to punish the fair coming in, but mistiming it a little bit. And that's definitely... One thing that's difficult about guarding against Daybreak's Wolf, he does a good job of mixing up if he's doing a full hop or a short hop, so it can be difficult to figure out what the timing is you need in order to punish him. There we go, force him to edge, dodge down to the edge there. But not able to get a solid edge guard against him. Oh, I like that short hop. <laughs> Just standing there waiting for Daybreak to make an option. Catches him running up with an up smash. Very nice movement there from Goma to take that stock. Boy, oh, able to nair before that backer is able to come out. So Goma gonna be able to get some extra credit until that forward smash nearly kills him. 
There we go, just backing up, respecting the space that Wolf's going. Four in a row. Just really wants that back air to connect, but Goma just backing up a little bit and being like, I'm not having any of that. And he's doing a good job just staying right out of the kill range of Daybreak right now. Just respecting back airs and smash attacks that Wolf is usually looking for. That up tilt is going to be an option coming online soon, but up smash is going to make sure that it's going to take it out before up tilt can even start killing. 47% on Daybreak. Goma's built up a little bit of the lead here, but all it's going to take is one quick combo, but Goma going to be the first one to find a combo. Up being not enough to kill, though a little bit more percent might have been enough to do it. But at the very least, builds up a nice, respectable lead right now. Forced off stage though, but able to up to the ledge, no problem. Tries to get the dunk, but not able to find it. Gets punished with the side beat from Daybreak. Patience, up smash to punish, not gonna be enough to kill the down air up high. Gonna take off that stock, so this Mario looking a lot better than it did game one. Able to find a lot more openings, just respecting Daybreak's options a lot better than he did in game one. There we go. Able to get a uh, phantom hop with that Nair. Definitely not something you see too often. There you go. Just poking in constantly, trying to get this damage. Oh, Side B actually going to kill off the ground there. <laughs> Daybreak giving the taunt to get some momentum back in his favor here. Maybe try and hit the Goma's head here, but Goma still has the lead right now at 46%. So as long as he's able to get another good combo, there we go. Tack on a little bit of extra. There we go. And we're seeing Goma not challenge a lot of the movement from Daybreak like he did in game one. Just respecting that Wolf's going to be wanting to press his buttons as he's coming on stage, hopping around in the air. And Goma's just backing off, being like, you know what? I'm not dealing with that. You can just come to me. I'm going to pick when I decide to go on the offense here. Oh, here we go. Daybreak catching him in disadvantage. Not able to get a kill with those smashes, though. Daybreak slowly but surely bringing this back. Actually is taking the lead here, but Goma manages to get it back here, force him off the stage. Up smash, catching the neutral get up, not enough to kill though. So Daybreak has one more chance to make this comeback. Oh, there we go, gets the grab. Expecting Goma's recovery. Just trying to force something out. Just barely getting beat out by that Nair. Back throw, not gonna be enough to kill. So Goma eating the laser, getting back to the ledge. Dash attack, gonna catch a neutral get up, and that is going to seal the deal for Smashfield 187. Daybreak is your winner. So uh, sorry about the commentator loss there early on.